Hello everybody and welcome back to the Paranormal Witnesses. Now today you guys are getting a very special video. We're going to be doing the top five investigations of 2024 so far. Now how this is going to work is I'm going to tell you the name of the place and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the activity and justify why it deserves its place here on the top five list. Now going straight in at number five I've decided to go with the RAF Conning Tower. Now, nothing really happened all night long or throughout the investigation at the Conning Tower for most of the night, but near the end, it's said that you can hear ghost planes, phantom planes flying around the building. And me and Ghost Dad certainly did hear this. Now, you can, we picked it up slightly on the live stream. There is a clip of this out on the um, channel if you guys want to go and check that out. But you could hear planes flying into the Conning Tower, which was obviously disused for many, many years. So I certainly think it deserves number five on this list. Now, coming in at number four is the Lord Lion. Now, if you'd asked me this a couple of months ago, I would have said that the Lord Lion would never have had a chance of getting on the number five, as we'd never really had anything there on that's actually happened or proof of the paranormal. But recently, in recent investigations, the activity has certainly been picking up there. We've been catching people walking about. We've had a lot of activity on the cat balls. Um, the place's vibe has changed completely. It certainly feels like something is there at the Lord Line. So that's why it takes number four here on our list. Now, coming in at number three is the Manor Farm Inn. Once again, massive thank you to everybody at the Manor Farm Inn for having us and letting us stay over the night and do an investigation. Now, so much happened throughout the night. We heard people walking around. We heard people talking. We saw people on the CCTV that were walking around. We, uh, the Ouija board moved. The coffee and tea machine kept going off at random times, which it wasn't meant to do. And we had a ball fly off. Things were very freaky. We had a lot of action happening in the manor farming. And I certainly think it deserves its place at number three on this list. Now, number one and two is literally a flip of a coin. It could have been either way. Number one could have gone at one and number two could have gone at two. And coming in at number two is the manor house that lies in the wood. Certainly a very, very freaky place. Now, I didn't know whether to switch this one with the manor farm in, but the manor house was just so freaky. Me and Ghost Dad went there on a very rainy and windy night and the activity that picked up was crazy. It was certainly felt like the vibe of the place was very off. All of the cat balls kept going off multiple times. The motion sensor lights was going off multiple times. We were getting very, very intelligent responses to the questions that we were asking the spirits. It was certainly a great investigation and I think it belongs here at number two. But at number one, it was always going to be the Mosley Manor Care Home. By far the most haunted place we've ever been to here on the channel or as a paranormal investigator myself. Mosley Manor is certainly a haunted building. We've had so much action happen there from the bottle being thrown to the EMF device going off crazy. We were talking to Maureen Moore of Spirit that one time, um, to all the candles being blown out, to the door being slammed shut. We've had so many action, ha so much action happen in the Mosley Manor. It's hard to argue that there's certainly something there now if you guys have enjoyed this list thank you very much for watching make sure that you click here to give us a follow and always remember join the witnesses